Carol, my name is Philip, and I'm part of uh, Chris's group working with the uh, Rock Pocket Mouse simulation. Okay. And in uh, writing our curriculum, uh, we'd like to differentiate it to uh, meet learners at different levels. And mm -hmm. there's an opportunity here uh, for, for us to make a deeper connection to uh, the genetics. And so when we're looking at um, adaptive melanism in these mice, uh, you had mentioned in the lectures that in the MC1R gene, uh, there are 10 mutations, uh, or 10 sites for mutations. Uh, okay, I, can I just stop, can I just insert right there? Yeah. I'm just, the number of sites in the MC1R gene that are mutable to causing darkness, that's just an approximation. Okay, it, what it is, is it's been observed in nature it, both in domesticated and in wild uh, vertebrates, that there's a bunch of different MC1R mutations that cause darkness. So we don't know the upper limit. There could be 20 or 30 sites that are mutable to going dark. I just use 10 because it makes all the calculations easy. Okay. Uh, so we were, what we'd like to be able to explain to students, so we need clarification for ourselves, is the, the domino effect. So how does the mutation affect uh, our understanding of MC1R is that it codes for the receptor protein for a melanocyte stimulating hormone. Right. So how does the mutation affect the, the protein product to then lead to increased melanism? Okay. So this protein, when it's activated, notice for example, stimulated by the, its ligand, the melanocyte stimulating hormone. Um, it triggers a series of downstream events that lead to the upregulation of pigment producing genes. Okay? So it's a it's a, a, a ligand stimulated receptor and it's in what we call a signal transduction pathway. The mutations that cause melanism bypass the need for the ligand. They're causing constitutive upregulation of MC1R activity. So that makes the activity of, of MC1R independent of the presence of the melanocyte stimulating hormone and just makes all the melanocytes go dark. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay.